Hello everyone and welcome back to UFC 4. Today we got some clean work, some sexy boxing with the Swede himself dishing out them Swedish meatballs with Alexander Gustafsson. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're back baby. And we're fighting in the heavyweight division in this one against Cyril Gan. This guy is a division zero at the moment. He's still getting his rank. But that's all good, man. Because he could be he could be a smurf. Like honestly, the way he was fighting him this, I kind of like I was kinda eh, you know? I mean clearly he's played the game a little bit. Unless he just got the game. Maybe he was playing some UFC three or something. I don't know. But he knows some combos, he knows his hooks and his kicks and everything, so... Yeah, that or, I don't think he's a smurf, because... Like, let's be real here, he's not good enough to be a legitimate smurf. You got the one-two head kick, yeah, he's... He's definitely... He, he's, got, he's got his own little basic bag of tricks, you know, we all start somewhere. But yeah, I figured I would start using some gusts, because, man, I'm not the best at boxing in this game, I like using kicks too much. But there's only like two characters I could think of I can really box pretty well with, and that's Sean O'Malley and Alexander Gustafson. So why not, man? I'm only playing some ranked already. So I figured, yeah, let's let's have some fun. Uh, something I've learned in ranked though is I I would normally like using lower rated characters, but when it comes to ranked, man, you kinda you almost have to use at least at least four star or higher. Like, try to use a three and a half star in ranked unless you're just really good with that person. You're gonna have a really hard time. But anyway, I'll quit rambling here and get to the fight. We got our opponent here already blasting away elbows. The desperation is kicking in. I'm pretty sure I missed a rock while I was talking there too. But oh yeah, look at that. He's gonna jab straight. He sway hooks, uppercuts. But I'm keeping him at bay with the jab, working my own hook. Keep it up honest there. Oh, excuse me. Don't worry, no soda this time. Just uh, just orange juice. Ooh, I would have swayed the fuck out of that head kick, but he was smart. He whiffed. He didn't whiff it, but he uh, pulled it back. Got him with the rock there with that straight. Goes for a kick, and his connection is fucking shit. I don't know if it's because I was streaming at the time or if it's him. I, I don't think. I think the other footage is pretty good. You know. I try not to rewatch the footage too much while I narrate to keep it as authentic as possible. Like I'm watching it for the first time, even though I played it, you know? But pretty sure the rest of the footage came out well. You see here though, for a Siragon player, I am working his fucking legs, dude, with Gus. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh, and a head kick. Yeah, I'm turning Gus to a high level kickboxer, bro. Look at that. Head kick, leg kick. I'm just debilitating the man. Oh my god, I love that. That's so satisfying for me. Is uh, leg kick rocks. I love just fucking up someone's leg. Really breaking down. Fuck. <laughs> breaking down the base. Another one drops him. Oh yeah, I'm confident. You know I'm getting confident when I'm not going to the ground with him. Alright. I'm not worried about his striking in the slightest. I mean, it is ranked though, so I probably should at least a little bit. Because I have had some fights where I'd be beating someone's ass the whole fight, and then they throw some shitty spinny head kick and fucking catch me. I might post that because it is kind of funny. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'll think about that. I might post that. But let's see here. Beautiful leg kicks here from the Swede. He's got more than Swedish meatballs for hands. He's got, I don't know, what's what's another Swedish food? He's got Swedish fish <laughs> for legs. <laughs> I don't fucking know. That was stupid. But anyway. Oh, he's working on the combos there. Every time he comes in, catching him with that straight. Trying to catch him with a straight uppercut, but the uppercut keeps whiffing. There's too much range on the straight. So the uppercut just goes right past his head. Oh, yeah. A little stalemate here between us. I know I'm kind of I'm kind of block breaking a little bit here. Well, I'm trying not to too much. I'm not a huge fan of block breaking. Kachow. Except in certain situations. Kachow. Oh, he gets me there. I didn't, I missed that. Holy shit! I didn't even know what he hit me with there. They rock me. Maybe he got me an uppercut. Holy fuck! I must be out of it. 
<laughs> I'm watching I'm watching the footage live right here and man I'm just fucked up or something. I don't know. G fuel and orange juice, maybe we're on a great combo. But no worries. Now he's throwing leg kicks a bit too late. His front leg's already fucked. Ooh, he catches me with a clean kick though. I catch him with a head kick. No one expects that lazy head kick, man. More people need to start coming up with their block up. They get a little too confident. We got that rock. I oh my god, a daddy. clean gas uppercut. Shots to the body. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm just oh, better. Oh goodness gracious. You saw his body there? It looked like he didn't get knocked out. He just looked like he was fucking done. Like as soon as that straight hit him, he's like, yeah, you know what? I want to go to sleep. I'm, I'm tired. Let's let's just <laughs> give me a nap. G give me give me a blanket, Gus. Ciao. Bedtime. Oh man, Garrett, why'd you skip that? I want to see those replays. Oh well, that's okay. Got a clean win though. Starting off with a win. Let's hope it stays that way. Well, let's see if we can get to the next fight. All right, we got ourselves a custom fighter. This guy's like last prestige level 34. So he's clearly played the game a lot. Now, whether he's played a lot of ranked or a lot of uh, campaign, you know, that, there's a lot of people like that like to play their campaign, you know, and you level up quick in that. I and mean, if you really just want to get a bunch of free gear, that'd be the way to do it. You really can't judge someone off there. You can't really judge someone off any of their levels, you know what I mean? Even their like level up or their division sometimes. Like, there was that division 20 guy I fought in the last video, and it was just... He was decent, but you think Division 20, the fucking highest division in the game, that's not who you'd expect to run into. I mean, clearly he's not like a top 10 guy. At least I hope not. <sighs> Stop yawning. Ah. But this guy coming in, uh, I believe his character was a pressure boxer. So that's immediately, immediately Kyle was thinking like, yeah, he's going to obviously be put on the pressure with boxing. Some people like to go pressure boxer and grapple because it catches people off guard. But that would be more of a hope than anything. Ooh, catch him with that lead uppercut, though. Front face kick attempt. Don't get it. I'm trying to catch him coming in, though. He's doing good coming in with single shots. And then he'll cut that one, too. He'll just come with a hook, come with an uppercut, and then come with like a jab shot like on top of that. So, it, yeah, look at that. I go, to, I go to slip a jab, and he catches me with a hook. And then I go to slip something else, and catch me with an uppercut. Like another one. He just comes in blindly. With that lead uppercut, it really is giving me a hard time. Wow! It pops me at the straight when I was going for that leg kick. You know, it doesn't matter the character. I was playing Nick Diaz the other day and I was going for leg kicks. You know what I mean? Like, I just love leg kicks. I can't explain why. It's super satisfying, though. Oh, yeah, he's catching me there. Every time I'm, I think to, like, okay, I'm, I'm going to slip this way to block that. And he catches me every time. It's super tricky. Why am I yawning so much? Holy crap. Hold on, let me get the get the G fuel here. Check it up a little. Only a little bit though. The cup I got from G Fuel fucking sucks. Spills everywhere. Oh, Jesus. Got that. Cherry G Fuel. Ugh. Yeah, you gotta be careful. You can't let that shit sit. It gets really sticky. Ah. I got orange juice at least. <laughs> I'm chasing fucking G Fuel. <sighs> Alright, we're good. This guy though, he's just popping off jab straights on me, man. I have like just little answers for this right now. Look at that front face kick. I'm starting to figure out he like wherever he gets right into kicking range for me, he typically puts his hands down. Which I mean he's a long fighter. He I think he may have made him the tallest, maybe. So he's definitely got some reach with me. And normally a lot of people don't have reach with Gustafson. But uh, this guy does. See that jab just fucking slaps me on the chin right there. So it's really hard to get the reach with this guy. But I do manage to get that uppercut off. Get that rock. He starts throwing immediately as soon as he's not rocked anymore. And then that's the end of that round. Yeah, that is uh, it's a pretty competitive bout, to say the least. And you, you, you're watching this kind of fight. And he's doing a lot of things right but I think personally it's me doing a lot of things wrong I'm having just a really hard time dealing with the overall range and some of the strikes he's throwing he's not doing anything cheesy or anything it's just like he's he's fighting weird to me like like when someone comes out with just like an uppercut you know just comes in 
like a sprinting for like a sprinting but like a walking forward uppercut just naked just just an uppercut you don't expect that shit that's why it's a great shot to throw when you're rock when you rock someone you lean forward in with a uppercut because when you do that then they might just duck down instinctively to dodge a straight or a hook or a head kick and they run right to an uppercut so it's a great shot and I'm having a hard time dealing with an unorthodox style because I always try to implement my own for example mine always being <laughs> using fighters not necessarily how they're supposed to be used like I don't know how many kicks Gustafson really throws in his fights like I don't think it's a ton oh kind of the clean hook to the body there that was nice I do love that rear hook it's slow but it, excuse me when it lands it's nice god damn excuse me Yakuza kick like, oh dude I need to find audio of an announcer yelling Yakuza kick already I've I want to find that so bad I can't. I keep trying, and anytime I do, the audio is awful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's trying to keep me honest with that jab. Just jab, 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 jab. Whenever I go for something, trying to catch me and stun lock me. Oh, that was a horrible miss on my part. That was like a Chris Weidman spinning kick. And that just completely fucking whiffed. And, oh, got him with the spinning back fist, though. I'm always dangerous with that spinning back fist, man. I pop that shit off when you least expect it. Shit, half time I don't even expect that. I'm just like, fuck it, bow. I gotta just press it. My body just knows when to press. LBRB. Why? And this guy was stupid. Okay, he let me back up. He doesn't want to grapple. He clearly is a striker. This isn't looking good for your boy here. That is for sure. But he is getting way too overconfident. This is ranked. You gotta finish your food. I know you will want that spectacular finish. That clean oh, flush fuck. knockout. Drops me again. I'm not having a good time right now. Catch him with a knee. And man, yeah, my head is just screwed. Like, I'm. Any clean shot that lands on me is gonna easily be a rock. And he's just firing at my block. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm letting this guy fire off my block too much. When that block breaks, I gotta start firing back. Because if I don't, he's just gonna piece me up. And I'm not gonna do anything about it. But I do get the leg rock. Oh, I'm a, oh and then the head kick on top of that. And another leg kick. This dude, yeah, all the work I put on that leg has finally paid off. He does switch his stances, though, but that gives me the advantage because most calf switch stances are not good at all. So his power is going to be reduced, and I believe the stamina is going to be draining faster, too. And he might not be too great in southpaw. Like, a lot of guys aren't. A lot of the guys are fixated on one stance, the majority being orthodox. So he might not be very comfortable right now throwing those combos, but he does land a perfect rear hook showing a little quick respect time but this is the respect i show our fucking uppercuts oh yeah and now he's throwing off his own uppercuts dude i'm a fighter i don't quit i do not quit because in this game all it takes is one shot just one shot one mistake from your opponent and it's over so you can't ever take someone for granted which is what happened in uh the video i was just talking about a second ago i'm trying to keep it under wraps because I don't want to spoil too much of the video, but <laughs> I might have underestimated my opponent a lot more than I should have and just finished it when I could, but we'll get to that when that video comes out. But yeah, to get that leg kick, he undoubtedly won the round, 100%. He landed, he rocked, he dropped me like four times, five times, like a lot, like in real life it probably would have ended the fight, look at that, slipped on my knees like I was uh, popping a guitar solo in the 80s. Oh, my back, dude. I'm 23 years old and I got back problems. Oh, yeah. I think I was, like, on my phone or something at that part. That wasn't me being trolly or anything. I think I was just doing something on the side. <laughs> but I still wanted the respect. Oh, yeah. That's what I love right there. They always forget about their leg. They always forget about their leg. So I got a quick little rock right off the bat. Get them worried. Get them guessing. But I'm still working the other leg. I don't care, dude. If it's in the open, I'm working it. Oh, yes. Ooh, jab street. This is what I'm starting to realize. All that oh, I'm getting into the head. Boom. Going for the finish. Yeah, I'm not stupid, bro. This is ranked. I'm going to finish you. Oh, he gets the back, though. Very scary. Very risky. But he gets right back up. He's not a grappler, man. He ain't here to grapple. But look what he did. He went right back in the orthodox. You know what this means. Pow! Leg kick, baby. Dude, you can read me a mile. Of Ooh, got it again. That was two leg rocks, I think. Back to back. Holy Jesus. And an overhand. 
He's getting desperate. He's hail marrying now. Weird, he was dropping me a bunch in that second round, but now he's throwing hail mary shots. Oh, and drops him again. It's the snowball effect, man. You get too confident. But I never gave in. I never thought the fight was over. So now here I'm landing stack guard. Just blasting shots, bro. Gus got some grappling on him. He's not high level or anything, but he can catch you off guard with it. Do a little more damage on the ground. Another leg kick. I think I'd remind him a little bit as legs fucked, but he doesn't seem to be taking notice. Maybe he doesn't care. He's, okay, there we go. He, he finally switched stances. Neither of my leg kicks landed. I and I got him with a beautiful straight uppercut. And he sways away. Perfectly timed. Gets right back up to his feet. This fight's nuts, dude. These are just two absolute units. Oh my goodness. And a beautiful lead uppercut. The say goodnight to our friend. I didn't catch his name. I do apologize. But thank you for the fight, man. It was really fun. And yeah, that was just that was good. Look at that. Pa! Fucking sent him the night night land. Oh. <laughs> thank you, Garrett, for keeping in those replays. I appreciate it. Oh yeah. The fucking Viking, dude. The Swedish meatballs come at again. Oh, my meatballs aren't looking like Eva Levine's head. Those are some real sweet. They look like his head. Those are some real meatballs, dude. Real meatballs. Come full force. Alexander Gustafsson. I wanted to call him Alexander the Great Gustafsson because Volkanovski is great and all, but. Alexander Gustafson though, bro. And that was a title fight. Yeah. Get that belt, son. Bring it home. Bring it home. Oh, designated Dan. Is it right? Designated? Yeah, okay. So thank you for the fight, Designated Dan. I do appreciate it. If you ever see this video, thank you. It was very fun. Ooh, but what's this? Is this a bonus clip? We got a rematch. Oh, yeah. And I am in featherweight now. I felt like boxing a little more, so I picked some Retro Connor. And look who we ran into. Yeah, buddy. Respect to my man, dude. We just had a freaking war. And I was Gus, and now I am the notorious Connor McGregor. Man, oh, man. This is awesome. Like, what are the chances, right? What are the chances? It's running, I've, I don't know if I, I don't remember ever running into the same guy in the same gameplay session, or at least someone using the same exact character. You know what I mean? Like this guy just wants to rock that creative fighter, but I kind of remember style obviously because I just fought him not too long ago. I, I did do a few fights in heavyweight. I did that Stepe video earlier. You, you may have saw, and yeah, so I wasn't using Gus all the time, but uh. When I got the featherweight though, I was just like, yeah, dude, I want to rock some. Retro His hands are just so fucking good. I got him with that uppercut right there. Like, Retro McGregor's hands feel better than normal McGregor. Like, he's definitely the more boxing archetype version of Connor than the current. The current one's definitely more of a kickboxing variant. This version's a lot more punchy punchy. But I do still have kicks though. I still want to utilize kicks. Connor likes to poke at people with those kicks. And that's how I like to use the kicks too when I'm using Connor. Try to sim it similarly to Connor. Not exactly like Connor, because simming Connor's very hard. Oh, it catches me there though. God damn. Oh, sway away. And that was smart. You got me right with that hook. Why am I still yawning? Fuck, damn, I might need a nap. Ugh. Oh, oh fuck. Ooh, catches me there too. God, I'm missing these shots. I'm looking away or something, but he got me again. God damn. Yeah, this dude, like, I'm still understanding him, but, like, dude, he's still kicking my ass, you know? This, he's good. He's He's got his range down with his hands, man. He's he's utilizing those hands very, very, very well. This guy's not throwing, like, any kicks. He's just pure boxing right now. He's doing so good. Fuck, dude, I'm sorry. Hopefully I'm not making you guys yawn. Ah. Son of a bitch. Okay. Ooh, yeah, anytime I go for a big lunging kick like that. Oh, he sidestepped that. That was a clean sidestep. Oh, and I sidestepped him. <laughs> a little sidestep back. I don't like sidestepping a whole lot, but it's very effective. 
Oh yeah, a little kick in there. Not as much in this fight, cause see, I'm working the body a lot more, so I'm using Connor. So I am focusing more on the boxing and the body work. Cause yeah, Connor does not have the best gas tank. So I, I always make, make sure their opponent's stamina is worse. And I'm using the head movement here to try to- Oh, double uppercut catches me again, man. This guy's a savage. Look at this dude, he's just coming in for the kill. And I'm block breaking McGregor. Oh, oh and he got me again. But once again, he's not grappling. He's not grappling. At no point I thought to myself, I should really take this guy down. I think in in the Gus Decision fight, I tried to one time and I completely whiffed the takedown and just got launched into a uh, striking match, which thankfully I won. A lot of times people can lure me into these striking matches like this and I kind of forget about the takedown. But especially when I'm using someone like Conor McGregor, I'm probably not going to be trying to go for takedowns. Like, if we go for a takedown with Conor, you're kind of admitting defeat, in my opinion. I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with giving your opponent different looks, but it's definitely, like, pretty odd seeing McGregor go for a takedown. I did fight a McGregor once that did that. He, he was beating my ass on the feet, and I think just to prove a point, he started taking me down, too. And owning me on the ground, it was fucking, it's pretty upsetting, but it is what it is. Jab straight. Oh, no, 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 no. straight. Classic. E a UFC slip straight. Especially with McGregor, that is deadly. He's got that five star straight. I'm pretty sure. Come again. A few hooks in. Looking for the head movement. He's swinging. He's still rocked. I pieced him. Got him against the cage now. Try to get him again. Looks that spinning elbow does not connect. But I got impressed because I love it. Oh I love it. Let's up uppercut right there, man. Oh, yeah, it's well timed too. I didn't throw it right off the bat. I kind of delayed it just a little bit. And I do it again. Another uppercut, dropping him. This is the snowball effect. I don't know if he just gets too confident or if I just start to like, get his patterns down. But yeah, like it's a kind I'll of do it finish, man. A beautiful jab of lead uppercut, dude. That was nice. I'm catching these uppercuts. I got him on the ground. Tee off a little bit and top mount here. Cause I remembered, I remembered his his ground and pound defense from the last fight. It's pretty solid. Now he's trying to escape from the ground, but frankly, I got two minutes to work here. Even if I'm using McGregor, I don't mind grappling at all. I do wanna wanna get in a little bit here. A little back and forth action. You know, you wanna make sure you get some dominant rounds in just in case something goes awry. He's doing a really good job at staying out of any bad positions. <laughs> you got a top mount side control pretty well. I'm going to figure out a posture up here, land some shots on his block. Keep him guessing a little bit. I should really be working the body here, honestly. But for some reason, I just wasn't thinking of it. I'm using Connor, you just really want to start going off on the head. But there we go. Ooh, I want to buy a shot. Oh, you see that slip I did there? It was like a little fake lunge. I don't even know if I did that intentionally, but it looks really cool. Oh, man. Look at those. He's lunging in with those lead uppercuts again and those rear hooks. Just shots you don't expect people to lunge in with. And it really gets you guessing. Oh, shit. Look how gassed he is compared to Connor. This is what you want in a Connor McGregor fight. You want to you wanna make him swim. Oh, oh, Keep O'Hara. Keep O'Hara. There we go again. That's a highlight fucking finish right there. Jesus. Nice indeed, my man. Thank you again for a great fight. A little bonus fight there for you. Just because of that rematch right there, man. That's the only reason I uh, posted it, because that rematch. And otherwise, this would have been just kind of a one-off video, but I figured it, there's not really a video that makes sense for it. You know, it would just be one fight, nothing special. But the fact it was a rematch, I figured I'd at least add that in here. And yeah, it was enjoyable. It was enjoyable fighting this guy. He was a tough opponent. He did really well. I got me up to Division 13 because that, that was pretty sweet. So I definitely appreciate that a whole lot, man. Oh. Yeah. I'm, yeah, that's the video, guys. But Jesus, I'm sorry for yawning so much in it. <laughs> it was a good time, though. I really enjoyed, uh, enjoyed narrating that. It's always fun going back on these old UFC videos and just like looking back at what I'm doing and what my opponents are doing. I've learned a lot watching myself and just figuring out what I'm doing wrong and both making videos 
and, and playing UFC and just in general. And uh, I'm learning a whole lot, and I'm loving it. I'm loving every second of this. And I hope you guys are too, to be honest, because I wouldn't be here without you guys. You know, I do love what I do, and I'd probably still be doing it even if I only got one view of video, but frankly, it's just, I appreciate your guys' support, all of you. Whether you're just subscribed, whether you're on my Facebook page, or somewhere in between. Even if you're just some guy who came across this video, stumbled across it, thank you. You're awesome. Thank you for giving me a chance. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, leaving a like would really mean the world to me, to be honest. And uh, if you really want to see more, there's always that subscribe button too, man. I won't ask you to use the bell notification, but if you want to hit the bell too, you can. I understand. I don't want a bunch of notifications on my phone either, you know. But a subscribe and a like would be fucking awesome. So again, thank you guys so, so much. I love you all so much. And you guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, it's a hundred in my bag, really run it up Many may have living aid in my double cup Bitch, don't ask me if I got it, though I keep it tough But if I really want them gone, I'ma spin a buck uh, And Shananda, all my youngest gotta show them love Cause they the ones that put you on there and say fuck a club No math, bare face, you know who it was Are they playing both sides, did you fucked up?